All right, Shalom. I like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Raka Kodash. I like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word and sincerity and truth. All right, I'm back at you again with a quick show. Um, here's an article which came out um, August 10th, 2017. August 10th, 2017, all right, and this is from USA Today, all right, and you see on the title, it says you will get chipped eventually, you will get chipped eventually, all right, and what is the chip, okay, the chip is the mark of the beast that the Bible speaks of, okay, so let me get the scripture real quick. Revelations chapter 13, 16, it says, And he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. That it says, And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Here is wisdom, let him have understanding, count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and the number is six hundred three score and six. All right. And also, when you go into that word mark, you go into the Greek word karagma. All right. Which karagma means brand. All right. An impricted mark, you know, something incision up under the skin. And this device of the microchip, the RFID microchip is a device that goes up under the skin. And eventually, you know, with this device, as far as the chip. All right. It's going to be a new form of currency. It's going to be a new form of identity. All right. It's also radio frequency. OK. Um, it's going to be the new way of things. All right. Buying and selling because eventually they plan on, you know, changing the economy into this cashless society, which they are doing. All right. So if you don't know by now that the chip is the mark of the beast, then, you know, where you been at? You know, what world are you living in? But anyway. It says you will get chipped eventually. Now, this is an old article. All right. Like I said, in August 10th, 2017, I'm just going to read a little bit of it. And uh, this is the company. It says um, in the aftermath of the Wisconsin firm embedding microchips in employees last week to ditch company badges and corporation logins, the Internet is entering into a full throttle debate. A full throttle debate, you know, because a lot of people are going to be against this and also a lot of people is going to be for it so there's going to be an uproar you know when esau go and mandate this all right far as law which he have already done but when he force it for everyone to receive a microchip you know there's going to be some uproars okay there's going to be some sedition you know you have a lot of uh uproars going on right now throughout the world with other reasons of the government passing certain laws and doing certain things you know just what it was a week ago rt you know they covered different incidents and they pasted together to show you that it was uproars going on in the world you know and the brothers grab the scriptures through it you know that's also showing the proven the prophecy of the lord speaking in second edges the ninth chapter all right the lord shall visit this earth from which he made and the things he told us to look for before the uh yahweh shai return which is our lord and savior all right who the world ignorantly called jesus christ all right so this is gonna happen just like i'm gonna go back up to the title you know it was catchy that's why you know uh i wanted to drop a lesson on this all right because the title is very catchy it says you will get chipped eventually all right and and you will according to the bible all right a lot of people you're gonna take this chip willingly and you're going to be forced to take it you know and the most i spoke about what's going to happen to you if you take this chip so i'm going to go and get that this is revelation chapter 14 all right and i'm gonna start at eight it says and there followed another angel saying babylon is fallen it's fallen now what is babylon that it is talking about it's talking about north america you know this place is truly babylon the great the mother of holics all right 
So it says, and there followed another angel saying, Babylon is falling, is falling, that great city, because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornications. And, and yes, <clears throat> this place, you know, have, uh, you know, uh, enticed these other nations to take upon, you know, the wickedness that, you know, these Edomites here. One thing right off the mind is uh, promoting homosexuality. All right. We're truly living in Sodom and Gomorrah again. All right. Spiritually. Egypt, when the children of Israel were in bondage because they're in bondage now. All right. So it says, um, it says that great city because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. It says, and the third angel followed them saying with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast in his image, and receive his mark in his right in his forehead or in his hand the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the most high which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the lamb okay so anyone that take this chip all right you're basically saying that esau is your god all right your power your savior all right and the most high said if anyone take this mark and receive this mark in his forehead or his hand you're going to be destroyed man he said which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstones in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the lamb so everyone that's taking this chip all right and especially here in babylon Okay, you're going to receive thermonuclear fire raining upon your head. You're going to be left in these soils here to burn, man, to be destroyed, man. All right. So I want to get back to the article, you know. I lost the article. Let me see here. This is one right here. Let's get back. All right. You will get chipped eventually. So with that being said, let's go down some. It says, uh, let me jump to the points, the little points that I read. All right, it says, it will happen to everybody, says Noel Chastley. It says, 49 associates professors of sociology at the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee, but not this year and not in 2018. Maybe not in my generation, but certainly that of, your, of my kids. You know, and he's saying, look, not in this time, but in your kids. And this is why Esau is pumping out all his wickedness, man, because he's truly attacking the next generation. This is why your music is so demonic. This is why you see these children now, these uh, Israelites, um, you know, in the nature and the, the feminization that they get. You know, you have, um, you have, um, um, you know, these Jake is being dumbed down. This, the school system in which Esau is put, putting out there for these children, like they're putting homosexuality into the school system, man. You know, not just with homosexuality, but all types of wicked ideology. You know, they're dumbing them down so that they could what? Desensitize that you should take this chip. All right, so it says it will happen to everybody. It says, says Noel Chastley, 49 associates, professors, of sociology at the University of Wisconsin Milwaukee but not this year and not 2018 as maybe not my generation but certainly that of my kids all right uh let me see what else I had I read here let me see bear with me all right. Um, it says the idea of being chipped has too much negative connotations today. But in 2067, we will we will have been desensitized by the social stigma. You know, they're looking so far beyond in which their boundary is. You know, the most high is not going to allow you to, to be here in 2067. man. You know, they're pushing uh, this ideology and this way of life this technology fast man all right there's no 2067 
you know so they talk about desensitizing this is what esau you know some of these guys they think they got all the time in the world but the elites all right the elites know what time it is man and how do we know we know they how do we know that they know what time it is because the bible tells us man you know they even have a doomsday clock which they clock 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 uh counting down to and when you look at the doomsday clock i think it's a uh what is it a minute couple of minutes maybe so they don't have time for no 2067 man and i'm gonna read this this is why they don't have time this is revelations 12 and 12 it says therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea for the devil is come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he hath but a short time all right so he knows that he hath but a short time all right so you know i just wanted to uh touch on this article it's very catchy as i was uh surfing through news looking for uh you know some news to find and uh put out there you know as far as the edification man you know you will as the article said you will be you will get chipped eventually all right you know but um you know before i even um i end the show i have another scripture came in mind and um you know yeah you will get chipped eventually you know some people may say well all of us are going to be chipped no we're not not all of us man and uh this is the reason why this is uh revelations chapter 3 and verse 10 it says because thou has kept the word of my patience i also will keep thee from the hour of temptation which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. All right. And the hour of temptation is talking about, all right, the microchip is talking about in the time where Esau is going to force that chip. He's going to force the mark upon you. All right. It's going to be a life or death situation. You either going to be labeled a terrorist. All right. For not taking the chip or you're going to take the chip. All right. And then the Lord's going to destroy you. So it says, Behold, I come quickly, hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown, which is this truth, which is this understanding, the knowledge, all right? So we can apply the wisdom. It says, verse 12, Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my God, and he shall go no more out. And I will write upon him the name of my God, and the name of the city of my God, which is New Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from my God, and I will write upon him my new name. He that have ears to hear, let him hear what the Spirit say unto the churches. All right? So there you go, man. You will event you will get chipped eventually. And this is going to be crucial, man. This is one of the Lord's last prophecies before the great and dreadful day. All right? You know, so much going on, man. You got Esau's promoting more homosexuality. All right, he's, he's teaching our children, you know, to uh to be homos, man. He's pushing unrighteous laws, you know, and many, many other things is going to get worse, man. All right, before the day of the Lord. So I hope this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praise to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. I like to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect. Shalom.